All right, guys. So today we're gonna be doing something I haven't done in a little bit in a little while now. A lot of you guys have been wanting to see more of these videos, and we're finally getting around to it. Uh, it's actually rabbit hunting. We're gonna be chasing around some cottontails and jackrabbits today. Pretty excited, actually. It's like going back to our roots again, just like when we went to Sunset not too long ago. It's a lot of you guys love these videos, so bringing out the good old Mossberg 512 gauge. Got GoPro, and um, also uh, one of our friends from Kentucky sent us a knife, Kendall Gray. So we're going to be skinning a rabbit with it today and uh, we're going to go ahead and get around to it right now. I'm excited. I know this spot's got a lot of rabbits in it. We hunted here last year and haven't, no one really hits it up. So i am got a really good feeling we're going to see some good stuff and let's get to it. All right, guys. So today i got a trusty old 12 gauge like I mentioned earlier. I'm going to be shooting a modified choke out of it because a lot of times these jackrabbits, you're not going to get super close shots at them. So, you know, I want to be able to go out there and get them out, you know, 30 to 50 yards or however far. I can just make pretty far shots with that. I'm also going to be shooting size 4s. These are, uh, I think they're Winchesters. They're steel shot, actually. Size 4, just a good universal round for jacks and cottontails. That's what we're going to be shooting today. Just spooked our first jack. Nice jackrabbit ran, probably like 150 yards away from us. No way to shoot him with a shotgun. Sometimes it's just how it works, but we're hoping to get up close. If I had a 22, it might have happened, but we're gonna get some. Did you see? <laughs> Dang, that happened quick, huh? Look, pick up the shells, but. <laughs> That happened quick, that's a big one right there too. Hey, it's been a while. It's been a while since we wanted rabbits and I can see why why we like it so much. Nice jackrabbit, huh? Let me put my shell in my pocket. That's the first one for me in a while there. He got a nice pelt on him, that's a real light one, isn't he? It's a good one for the first one of the season right there, huh? Haven't been rabbit hunting in a while, I can see why why wow, we used to love it so much. That's fast action, fast, fast. That was a snapshot of all snapshots right there. He just took off running and pulled up and drilled him. So I'm actually gonna skin him and gut him right now. So I'm gonna be able to see Kendall's knife, Kendall Gray's knife in action. It's gonna be put to good use right now. We're gonna skin this guy out. So when you're skinning a rabbit, the first thing I do, he's really fresh too, so this is gonna make it a lot easier. I grab him by the back here, punch a hole. It doesn't need to be any kind of fancy hole, but then you're just gonna grab them and it peels. Usually it'll just peel off like once, but I shot him right in this general area. So there's a couple little holes in his hide. It's just making it a little bit tougher to, to skin him out. The next thing that happens is the head comes off. I'll skip past cutting the head off so I don't get demonetized right now. But that's what's gonna come off and then next we're gonna gut him. So these things are actually pretty big. They'll make a really good meal. We've got a bag. We're gonna put them in it and just carry them around. The next one, I'm not gonna gut them. I'm just gonna show you guys a cool trick to put them on your belt so you can walk with them without having to gut them or skin them or anything. But this guy's going in a bag. I'm not doing catch and cook in this video. We will cook these jackrabbits up in another video, but they actually have real big back straps and everything. They're actually pretty good eating. So let's go ahead and try to get another. We don't got water on this, so I'm just gonna try to get this dirt and just It'll, it'll just kind of wipe, the, or at least dry it and kind of take it off my hands a little bit. Yeah, so the next ones I'm gonna show you guys a cool trick on just how to keep them on like your belt and walk with them without having to skin them or do anything to them because uh, that was a little bit messier than I thought it was. We got bags, but I'm trying to stay at least halfway clean here. <laughs> All right guys, so I just finished about a one mile loop. We did a, uh, I did a pretty big loop here and Ended up with that one jack, one shell, one jackrabbit. So I really hope I get a cottontail. Actually, we're gonna move, I'm actually moving to this area that's a little bit farther down this dirt road where I've seen a couple more cottontails than jacks. So hopefully I get a cottontail and a jackrabbit because in a couple days I wanted to actually do a, a comparison video. I wanna cook up the jackrabbit 
and also the cottontail on to see you know which one tastes better what one do you guys think tastes better because one of the most common things i hear is that cottontails taste better but there's more meat on jackrabbits so a lot of people that like jackrabbit will often go for them because there's more meat but and which one do you guys think is going to taste better so we pulled up to this new spot it's a little bit greener and um, back in the back of these coves back here we know that there's cottontails that kind of den up in this little cliff and we've shot in a couple back there last year so let's go ahead and just try to get one that's all i'm after right now is a cottontail we already got a jackrabbit let's see if we can get it done so this hike back into this spot i'm talking about it's about maybe a quarter mile hike and we're gonna do a pretty big loop but real quick check out these hats guys just got them made got about 10 different colors and like designs and stuff and uh website should be up friday you guys can go pick them up i recommend you guys try to get there soon and get them Friday or uh, as fast as you can because I know some of the hot colors are going to be selling out quick. They're pretty cool hats I think and a lot of you guys have been wanting them so they'll be out Friday on my website. Pretty deep hole right there. I guarantee you a couple things are denting in there. Almost looks like pack rat turds but there's not really packing in there so I don't know. One thing we're kind of looking for when we're looking for rabbits is jackrabbits. They're actually just about everywhere. I find them out in the flats. I find them up in the hills. Just about everywhere you'll find jackrabbits. But when it comes to the cottontails, they're not as fast as the jackrabbits. So they use more along the lines of like a hiding technique. So they'll be in a lot of the thicker stuff. You see all this stuff sharp right here. They like thorns. Thorns don't really bother them at all. So um, that's, what, that's one thing they're really looking for is real thick green stuff where they can eat a lot hide a lot kind of jump in between bushes and a lot of thorns they really like that's why i find a majority of my cottontails so if you notice this little area right here it's kind of like a big deep wash it's not super deep but it's pretty deep and it goes pretty far down there's steep walls has a bunch of holes in it and stuff where the cottontails like to hide in one thing i've also found is it's pretty green in here when they're down in these in these washes they like having a, a nice steep cliff coming to the side of them because these rabbits they can they're like world champion style rabbit hill climbers <laughs> if that's what you want to call it you'll see them one second and they'll be halfway up a mountain the next so it's one of their in my opinion it's one of their best ways to get away from predators is having a real steep hill next to them these are some of the examples of holes i've seen you know that the cottontails run in and out of now i've always seen them come in like these clear holes when when they start getting a lot of stuff in them like this a lot of times it's a pack rat pack rats you'll see that they'll pack pretty much the whole hole closed and you know then then like coyotes or bobcats and stuff try to get them out of there but these clear ones i've always seen the cottontails coming in and out of and there's a lot of tracks here so i know they're in this valley here they must just be bed in their holes right now because nothing's moving sometimes i wonder if there's like gold trapped in areas like this because you know that or silver you know i don't know but yeah I, I should start bringing a gold panel and start painting for some gold in areas like this where it washes off all these mountains clean and goes through here and funnels itself well 95 percent of the time it happens too fast and sd cards full on the gopro so drilled him when he was running away he jumped up what like five yards from he jumped up close all right so this guy popped up right at senior's feet yeah. This is a cool trick if you don't have bags, we do, so I'm not going to carry them like this the whole time because I don't want to get blood all over my jeans. But all you're going to do is you come back here just like you're going to hang hang a deer or hang anything to skin him. And you're going to cut through that flap of skin right there in between his leg and his Achilles tendon right there. Now what you're going to do is when you pick him up, for example, if you got a belt loop, you're going to put one of their feet through the belt loop see right here you put a foot through the belt loop so you get then you put his foot through there it's been a while since I did this so I might be a little bit rusty but there it goes so he'll hold just like that and you can walk around you could do whatever you want with the rabbit right here and uh, it's a trick I've used before these are school pants so I don't want to get them all bloody but if I was wearing like my camo pants, I would hold them like this all day. But we also have bags, no need to carry them like this. But it's just a neat little trick. Uh, I saw somebody else do it a while ago. I can't remember who, but um, cool little trick to carry them around all day. You could hold one on every belt loop. That'd be a cool picture, wouldn't it? 
So for those of you guys that have been getting the Hunter's Hall box, this month's came with these bolt chewies. What do you guys think of these? And they're just like little organic chewy things that, you know, well, you eat a couple of them and they give you like natural electrolytes and stuff just to keep you going out here. All right, we're calling the day. We're going to head home. Didn't end up with a cottontail, but uh, next time I come out, if I get one, we'll do that comparison video between the jackrabbits we've got today and the cottontail. But um, we're going to go home. I'll show you guys how Diesel's doing. A lot of you guys still uh, wondering about him. I'll show you guys a couple cool things about him and what's just going on. So let's go ahead and head home now. So Diesel's been doing good. He's been looking healthy, living healthy. He wants to get the mic right now. No. Hey, calma, Diesel, calm. Calm down. Hey, no. I know you're happy to see me. We were gone all day, but hey. Sit. Boy. Shake. I didn't. Well, but he's looking good. He's living, living good, living his best life. These were those hats. I was telling you guys about earlier. We've also got a whole variety of fishing ones too. As you can see here. Oh, if you guys didn't know, we had a little fishing logo out. Yep. There's our fishing logo we have on a flat bill and a white back. So we got a whole variety. As you can see, a couple more fishing ones. See, we're running short on a couple of them already, but they're looking good. Sit, yeah. He's already trying to sit. Calm. 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 If you guys didn't uh, don't have a German short hair pointer, these things are oh no, no. Crazy. Crazy dog. Super hyper. Never ending ball of energy. They're literally a never ending ball of energy. These things will run all day long. You'll run them till they're half dead and they'll still want to run even more. So you can see Diesel here, he's just going nuts. But he was having seizures. If you guys haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. You guys will see why I'm giving you guys kind of a little update on how he's being healthy, living, living his best life right now, you know. We're not running him too hard. Um, he'll be ready to hunt definitely by next season and maybe even a couple tournaments here soon or something. But um, he's living good, doing good. If you guys haven't seen that video, go ahead and click the link and uh, check out why, why I'm giving you a little update on him. But other than that, you know, we had a good day out here. Go ahead, comment down below if you guys want to see anything. If you want to see that, that idea we had about comparing the jackrabbit and the cottontail rabbit, if you guys want to see that, um, go ahead and comment that down below. Next time I go out, I'll probably go out soon to try to get a cottontail. If you guys want to see that, go ahead and let me know. And I want to show you guys one last thing before, before I leave. Have you guys ever seen this idea right here? This thing we did with our skulls on the wall. There's a javelina skull, coyote skull, coyote skull, fox skull. Those are just a few of the skulls I've done. Thought it'd be a cool idea. And another really cool thing I want to show you guys also is the difference between a white tail and a mule deer. That's my first uh, archery buck ever. My first buck. There's my dad's first archery buck ever. They're about, I think it was like 15 years apart-ish, somewhere around there. And it's cool that they finally get a meet right here uh, in this room. But other than that, I want to thank, thank you guys for watching. If you guys aren't already, go ahead and subscribe down below. Um, and also throw a like if you like the videos. You want to see more videos like this or more outdoor content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And other than that, I'll, I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you outdoors.